Last time on Siberia, drunk Russian guy. Yeah, that that was it. I need a key. Oh, okay. Here's the key. Um There we go. Uh, dump stuff on him? No, move him up. Oh, it's like a crane thing. I gotta get him underneath that thing. No. Um, now? How do I get him away from there? I need to get him in that other spot. Keep going. Nothing seems to be working there. Maybe it just means I can get by now. Though I don't actually seem to recall that blocking me earlier. Um, what can I do? Oh, this thing. What did I do? I don't know what that did. Do something. Oh, I turned on the pump. Hey, what's happening? There's more to you got there. Stop it now. You want me to drown? I wanted you to wake up. You're awake now. See? All right. Now let's talk. Calm down. It's all right. Just a little wake-up call. That's all. You must have had quite a bit to drink. Gee, you right there. Not the first time either. Probably won't be the last. Man, my head. Please, could you whisper? Please, do excuse me. But it was the only way I could think of to bring you back to your senses. A little extreme, maybe. But I get the impression you're a lady who likes to see results. Now, I need to get to Arlbot. Does Arlbad mean anything to you? Arlbad. It's been a long time since I heard that name. It's a spa resort. Top brass of the regime would go there. As well as convalescing soldiers, tired politicians, profiteers and racketers, the whole caboodle. They'd go live it up, all expenses paid. One privilege I never got. Just two steps away from becoming the nation's hero and no free holiday for me. And where exactly is this place? Further east. We never had to know where exactly. Airship was programmed to take vacationers there. From here. Can I take the airship? Do you think the airship still works? No idea. It's been so long since it was used. And then I've got to learn how to use it, too. You won't have any worries there. It has an automatic pilot. Go visit if you want. Here's the key. Thanks. Thank you! Thank you so much for helping me. I'm sorry to have woken you up like that. It's been great talking to you, ma'am. I think I'll take 40 winks right now. Have a good day, sir. Have another on me. Oh, you can't, because I took it from you. 
I'm really glad I'm taking the airship and not the slingshot. Alright, key for you. Where do I... the lever. Doesn't look like that works. Well, shit. Where's something I can... I don't see anything I can do to change this thing. I think I need to crank it up somehow, but I don't see where I can do that. Doesn't look like... Well, there's definitely nothing in here. What are you doing? You know, maybe... Can I give you this? Comrade Boris, I need a few drops of your blood. Excuse me? To get the centrifuge going, we'll need to analyze the pilot's blood. If you're going to the stars, you've got to be in good health, you see? That's why I need a blood sample. It won't hurt. There's two things a good soldier is always ready to do. Drop his pants and spill his blood. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll only be needing your blood. My pleasure, ma'am. Oh, man. You, you gave him a little prick. <laughs> Goodbye, sir, and I see your crack. That was not pleasant. Take the blood. There you go. Turn on. And let's see. I just gave you one. Oh. Blood sample refused, alcohol level too high. Fuck. I picked something up. Now we can use my blood. Cool. Okay. I think I figured out how it works. Get settled in and let's go. Colonel, are you alright? Never been better. Head's spinning a bit, but I am used to. <sighs> that. I'm a professional pilot. What the? Why am I doing this? I think I missed a conversation. Am I going to send him into space? Miss Walker. Come in, Miss Walker. Are you receiving me? Uh... <laughs> Clear as smog. Can you speak up? I'm ready. Press the launch button. This is not a good thing, but... Takeoff procedure engaged. Countdown commencing. Colonel, you've forgotten to tell me the secret of the airship. What do I have to do? He's sober while he's doing this. This is a good idea to him without any alcohol whatsoever. Ten, 
Actually, apparently he has a lot of alcohol in his system because it was refused. <laughs> I don't think they want to show the results, I guess. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> oh, there we go. You left the crank for me. I think I gotta crank it from the other side. I hope he's not dead. But, considering what just happened, sending a drunk man flying on what is essentially a paper airplane, I highly doubt he's alive. There we go. He's eating the same red birds. Awesome. <laughs> I would say it's not awesome because, you know, apparently they're protected. I don't know if that means they're endangered. I think so, though. <laughs> but... I think it's okay, because it's another animal eating them, and if it's nature, and not people, that means it's okay. Right? That's how it works, right? As long as it's not a species of... Oh, we introduced that species to this area, didn't we? Well, shit. Fuck you, Oscar. I got a blip now. I don't need your train. RPGs are always better when you upgrade to the airship. I can understand boats on frozen lakes, but shouldn't they have the bottom of the boat inside the ice? Eh. Nah, too bad this guy didn't have a weird voice. Hello! I have come on a zeppelin that has not traversed here for decades to see if a woman who is probably dead resides here. Excuse me, I have a phone call. Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Marson. We all do. 
Down in the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. Universal toys are on my back and digging in. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it, too, when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results. Yes, Mr. Marson. Yes, I totally put you in this position. It's not like this position you would still be in no matter fucking what. You son of a bitch. That is so beautiful. I'm trying to solve this shit and you're just giving me all this freaking ruckus. Fuck you. Good morning, sir. Good day to you, ma'am. And welcome to the Hotel Kropsky. I don't expect you've made a reservation, have you? Well, no matter. We've got a few rooms left with the sea view. By far the best on offer. Uh, well, actually I wasn't counting on staying in Arrowbad. I see. It's like that then. Uh, so, what can I do for you? Fix the TV! I wanted to see who won that game. Oh, it's working now, okay. Uh, mission. I want to meet someone who lives here. That's very inconvenient. None of my customers said they were expecting someone. You can't just turn up like that. We've got a very strict policy. In this day and age, the hotel ain't too open to, um, impromptu visits from any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Uh, please. I absolutely must speak with her. It's very important. If it was that important, all you had to do was ring the hotel. Her people come here to rest, you see, to get away from the world, which ain't turning so good these days. Uh, don't let me keep you. Good day to you, ma'am. Honestly, if I could have called, I would have called, but I couldn't. So please, can you bend the rules just a little, sir? Ma'am, in this hotel, we don't bend nothing for no one. With respect. The way you talk is so weird. <laughs> it's like a dignifying butler trying to mix in slang. I... Sir... I really could use your help. I'm sorry, ma'am, but my helping hand only serves my hotel guests. Well, let me just say that by helping me out, you'd also be helping out one of your very own guests. Ma'am, I'm not to be wound around anyone's little finger, you hear? I need the... It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Seriously? Well, thanks anyway. At your service, ma'am. That dialect is just so... odd for the situation. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Get in here. The door's locked, but I've still got to get in there. Well, he's not paying attention. Get in there. No! Oh. <laughs> I thought he was talking about... Me getting in here. <laughs> uh, soap. I already have a screwdriver. <laughs> All right. Maybe I can fix his TV. Um, that's the bell. I don't think I need the bell. Um, talk to him again, sir. Sir? It looks like he'll only what respond the with the bell. <laughs> 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 oh, 
like this guy. Do piss off. I ain't got time to help you, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you again, but I've absolutely got to meet Madame Romansky. Don't even think about it. Any way into this hotel is bolted. Why are you telling me that? No reason. Like that, just in case you feel like walking in and rummaging about. The times are changing, ma'am, and we've had to introduce a security system. Keep out unwanted visitors as sure as we keep out the sand and the salt, if you get my drift. Yeah, of course. Well, thanks again for your warmth and hospitality. I swear. Well, uh, this guy's dialogue was written for a character that was meant to be like 19. Oh, curtain. Open that curtain. I don't know what that did. It certainly opened a curtain, though. Okay, we can... maybe we can detergent this fountain. Bubbles! Everyone loves bubbles. feeling that they won't let me in, so I'm just going to start vandalizing their place until they submit. We're way too isolated for, their, for the cops to respond quickly anyway. Oh! This is a train station. Am I coming here next? That'd be odd if I... Yeah, looks like I'm coming here next. That means he was here. Why was he here? Alright, I have successfully fucked with your fountain. What do I do next? Oh, can I just cut... Oh, I can cut it down once he's outside distracted by... the fountain. Sir? You again? You're beginning to really overstep the mark. I warn you, one more and I'm going to... But what the hell's going on over there? Why is it me gets hell to pay when there's already too much work to do? <laughs> he threatened you with violence. Normally, I would feel bad about fucking with the random inhabitants of towns, but if anyone deserves it, it's this guy. <laughs> <laughs> 